Good morning. Well, we have a beautiful day down here today. I've been down here a little bit earlier before the sunrise and uh, done a bit of work on the pond as always. <clears throat> it takes a lot of work this time of year. It takes about half an hour to three quarters of an hour every morning to sort it out and get everything working properly. And also to fill the water up, which takes twice a week now. I've already got the hide set up. <coughs> and the pond, as you can see, is looking beautiful. <clears throat> it's the only area that's really green. The plants around the pond are obviously a lot greener than everything else in the area. Hmm. Just close the hide and turn the camera on. And we've already got a Thecla's lark, a sparrow, and a corn bunting. Already come down for a drink. <laughs> it's literally two, less than two or three seconds. Oh, even a green finch straight away. Wow. I can see a lot of baby birds around at the moment asking for food from the parents, which is... Oh, I can just hear the woodpecker as well in the background. That means he'll be along... Oh, there he goes. Just flew across in front of me. He'll probably be coming to the pond in again in, again in a minute. Anyway, it's a fantastic start. That sun hasn't even hit the pond yet. Oh, we even have the little curl bunting down here as well. Wow, that's basically everything coming along straight away. Obviously the fresh water brings them straight in, so... I might have to do a full water change here soon. If it gets much hotter. Oh, we even have one of the young starling here. That's quite early for them. That's nice. It's one of the young ones, as you can see. Beautiful. Oh, we've actually got quite a few of them turned up. There's one on... There's one, two... There's another one up on the top. There's three. There's four or five starling turned up all at once. Lovely. They all look like young ones. They're pretty dull colours. They're not the, the bright, shiny ones. And they've still got the black beaks, so... I think they're all young ones. As the first rays of sun hit the bottom of the pond, right at the front, as the sun comes over the horizon, we've got the frogs have all started to come out of the water, right next to the starling. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to see. These little Iberian green frogs, they found this pond literally two or three months after I built it and they've taken up permanent residence here. There must be over a hundred in the pond now. Obviously being the only water in the area, it's perfect for them. And the Mafia has turned up. <laughs> I nicknamed these birds the Mafia because when they, came, when they come along they just frighten or bully all the other birds and everything that leaves the pond, so... Hence, only put a little bit of food out on top now, and they leave the rest in the feeders, which they can't get at. And once they've taken the food that's on the top, they just normally leave. So, but as you can see, they always come in a band of at least four to twelve. Sometimes, one time I had actually 32 of them turn up at the pond. It looked like the Blue Lagoon. It's, they're a lovely looking bird, but they are an absolute pest when it comes to trying to keep the other birds fed because they just eat everything. Oh, even the woodpeckers come in. There we go. It's just come back. Lovely little bird this. I think these Dendrocopus mayor or the, um, the greater spotted woodpecker are beautiful birds. A beautiful red part under the tail. The little patch on the head for the males, <clears throat> which is normally red, which is why I think this is a young one. Oh, he's actually come down for a drink. Look at this, beautiful. Oh, wonderful. It's nice to see they even come down. <laughs> it's the first time I've actually seen them come into the centre of the pond, the woodpeckers, so they're obviously getting a lot more confident with the area. We have a long-tailed cuckoo just turned up. 
the birds are going crazy as he turns up, all making a noise. Beautiful bird though. Absolutely stunning bird. As you can hear, the other birds are making a bit of a fuss when he turns up, but uh, probably upset because they know what they do, laying the eggs in the other nests and pushing them out. So, lovely bird, though. Absolutely stunning bird. He's just <clears throat> hanging around the pond quite a lot this morning. Absolutely beautiful bird though. The other birds go crazy when they come along to the pond. Well, the Greater Spotty Cuckoo, or I call them the long-tailed one, but it's really the proper name is the Greater Spotty Woodpecker um, Cuckoo has just been frightened off by a peregrine falcon that flew over, so the birds have just come back again. I see the peregrines actually quite like to hunt those birds because they're quite a big meal. <laughs> I saw one last year actually catch one. wild rock dove have come down for a drink. There's only one today for some reason. Probably the others will come back in a while once one's had a drink. As I said, <laughs> four of them have just turned up now. They've all come down for a drink. After one's flown off, the rest of them come down. They drink so much, these birds. They almost guzzle the water. It's quite, quite strange to watch. As you can see. Oops, fell in. Beautiful sheen they have on their necks, these wild rock dove. Got this little white patch in between the wings at the lower back on the tail when they fly. But, uh, it's the, the way they drink that I find the strangest. Out of all the doves, these are the only ones that seem to put their heads down in the water and literally just guzzle the water down. Hopefully you'll see it in a minute. Nope, looks like this one's just going to be stubborn and, st and sit there. <laughs> Typical, when you want them to do it, they don't. <laughs> Come on, mate. No, no chance. The birds are all a little bit wary today because we have the peregrine. There he is sitting on his perch up to the side. He keeps flying across the pond hunting, so every now and again the birds will scatter. Lovely bird though. Mm, beautiful little collared doves come down as well. along with a rock, a rock dove as well. We've got two different types here at the moment. Unusual to see them together. Oh, we've got a woodchuck strike come in. Lovely birds these. I haven't seen one for a while so it's nice to see them back. And he's come down for a bath at the front. Beautiful. These woodchuck shrike are 
lovely birds, but they're quite a vicious little bird when it comes to, to hunting. They catch the small insects or, or beetles and even, even some of and or even some of the smaller lizards and they impale them on spikes until they're dead. There's one of the young or this year's blue um, azure wing magpies. You can tell by the sort of greyish feathers on the top of the back, the, the baby feathers still, and the grey scap, uh, the grey scalp still hasn't turned fully black. It only happens after the first year. So there you go, there's one of the babies there from this year. And there's one of the adults sitting up the top. I have so many young birds here today. We've got three young starling here in the bush. Another one on the pond here. We've got azure wing magpies. On the other side we've got just we must have 20 or 30 greenfinch. Uh, down the front there's just so many sparrow it's not true. We've got a, a curl bunting there as well. We've got the shrike up the top, we've got the pigeons over the back. We must have about well over a hundred birds on the pond at the moment altogether. It's just incredible. Well, the blackbirds have finally come down. It's getting a little bit later in the after in the morning now, and uh, the birds are all coming in for a bath as the temperature's rising. Luckily, we've got a little bit of a north wind here today, which is keeping the temperature down. But uh, it's still over 25 degrees, which is like 75, and. Uh, as you can see, the birds, as soon as it heats up, all start coming down for a bath. Beautiful to watch. Well, <coughs> well that's it for today. It's coming up to 12 o'clock. I've had a lovely morning here. The, the, the surprise for the day was the... Um, Great spotted woodpecker, uh, great spotted cuckoo, which was absolutely beautiful. They're often around this time of year, so that was a wonderful surprise. And the woodshack shrike as well, that was nice. As you can see, it's been just a, a day that hasn't stopped. The birds have been coming to the pond. At one time, had over a hundred here. At one time, it was just amazing today. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please remember to subscribe to the channel to help it grow a little bit more. Um, hit the like button and leave a comment underneath if there's anything you'd like to know. And I will see you next time I come down. Have a wonderful day.